thanks for tuning back in. Before we get started, don't forget to go in our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So let's get right into this. So just gonna do a little recap of the season. And of course, at the end of this video, we're gonna do a montage of all our catch pictures. You all to enjoy. So uh, I set some goals for this season, and sadly, I beat some of them, and I uh, I didn't really show my goals. My goal was 24 coyotes and aiming for 30, a minimum of 24. Well, we ended up with a total of 23 coyotes when it came just a few days before the season ended. So uh, I was kind of bummed out about that, but hey, that's better than I did last season. And um, I was, I'm, I'm still pretty happy with it. Uh, we beat our all-time record for bobcats uh, this year. The most I'd ever caught in one season was five, and I got seven this season. And I started the season not seeing any sign whatsoever, so I was... Uh, at least bobcat sign, so I was pretty stunned that I ended up with seven cats. But anyways, I was pretty happy about that. We only ended up with two gray fox, but we have very few gray fox around here anyway, so I was happy with that. And of course, I had plenty of raccoons and skunks and no possums this year. So, um, during my third season, I was pretty pumped to get a, a possum because I never caught a possum before. But then I caught about 500,000 of them, so now I'm just kind of, uh, I don't want to remake a set just because a possum got into it. So, no possums. I was happy about that. Um, we didn't save all of our coyote, coyote furs. A bunch of them were man mangy. I caught a, a lot of them. Probably a, close to half of my coyotes were mangy. So I had to pitch them, sadly. But uh, the ones I did were, were able to keep. Um, I want to thank my good friend Greg Yaka and my oldest brother Zach. They built me a skinning machine. And that made skinning so much easier. It was amazing. So big thank you to them for that. And uh, I told you I didn't really, I didn't reach my coyote goal, but I kind of did. Because you see, we went uh, drafting with Barry Go, and I'm not sure to tell you about that. You have to wait till the next video to learn about that one. So stay tuned for that. But um, let's see. Uh, another some other things I wanted to do. I wanted to do some more snaring and uh, get some more stuff in snares. So I didn't do as much snaring as I would have liked to, but uh, I was successful at it. Barry Go gave me a few tips when I rode along with him in February, and uh, I came back and ended up catching a coyote and a hog in one of some snares, Missouri legal cable restraints. So um, I was pretty happy about that. And uh, some other things I did, I ended up with a badger. So that's something I haven't done since my second season. I was super pumped about that. So I've been pretty blessed this season. And uh, so I really don't have anything to be complaining about. And I want to thank, of course, first of all, God, because I could not have done any of this without his help. So um, I also want to thank all of my, my family for supporting me. And all my sponsors and subscribers for all the support y'all gave me this year. Uh, Southern Snares and Supply, Blink Needs Trapping Supplies, Duke Traps, Sleepy Creek Traps, uh, Harris Traps, uh, Mark June's Bait and Lure, Young's Bait and Lure, Predator Potion Bait and Lure, and Predator Perfect's Bait and Lure, um, Washington River Valley Trading Post, and uh, let's uh, Strange Chain Trapline Modifications. And I think that's all. But they supported me greatly this past season. Very thank thankful for their help. And a big thank you, of course, to you guys for watching, subscribing, uh, commenting, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I really appreciate that. So, sadly, one other thing I was kind of disappointed about, I didn't wouldn't I didn't make hardly any catches in the Harris trap. Uh, and I was really bummed out about that. Uh, I caught a, a stray dog. Which I was impressed when I caught the straight dog. Big German Shepherd. He didn't mangle that trap one bit. And he had absolutely zero damage on his paw or anything. He, I mean, we turned him loose and he, he, he chased us out of there. We were, drove off. He's running after us. So uh, I was pretty impressed about that. They're, they're good, strong traps. And they don't damage the animal. So uh, I was definitely impressed about that. We did end up getting... A big, uh, great big boar coon in one of the Harris Shops 5.5s. And so I was happy about that, but I just don't know. The coyotes just seem not 
they always got caught in the sets that didn't have the hair straps at them. I wouldn't even visit set my the sets that had hair straps at them, so I was kind of bummed out. But that's the way it was when I first started using the Duke 650. When the full season, I caught one little bobcat in them and didn't catch nothing else. And then th this past season, I caught quite a few coyotes in the Duke 650s. So uh, we'll give them a whirl again next season and see if we can rack up a few coyotes in them uh, next season. But um, let's see what else. I think that's just about it, guys. Uh, I want to, uh, before we get out of here, I want to tell you some of my my best producing products last year for my different uh, sponsors. Um, of course, I had a lot of luck in the the Duke 550s, and I got some of the Duke uh, number two Douglas. I really like them. They got a large kill area. Uh, they're very little adjustment needed out of the box. Got string chain trap modifications modified them for me. Those are great little traps. And like I said, I caught a lot in the Duke 650s. I, I liked all three of those traps extremely well. So uh, I actually got another right here. Uh, Duke decided to renew their sponsorship this year. So uh, I got another dozen of the number two Douglas and another dozen of the 550s. So uh, making her, our arsenal's growing. So uh, pretty pumped about that as well. As for, let's see, sleep curry traps, I caught a lot in their one and three quarter offset four coil. And uh, again, I did very little adjustment out of the box. I gave it pretty much a free fall paying attention. Of course, it wasn't wiggling, but it would fall under its own weight. And uh, that's what I seem to have the best luck with. And I just uh, replaced the, it comes with twin loop chain. I do not like twin loop chain. That's just me. So I replaced it with straight link chain and crushed roof swivels. And of course, a good uh, chain stake on the end. And I like them really well. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the two coil for version from now on. Again, that's just my preference. I like the circular pan, that kind of pan system, better than the more square pan system. That just that just me. There's not, not really any reason behind it. I mean, I caught a lot of coyotes in them, and it didn't really have any problem with that. Just, just my pre preference. So, um, Mark James Bait and Lure, um, formerly my best... My three best producing products from him was his Widowmaker Pace Bait, his uh, Coyote Frenzy, and a Silent Stalker. Those were the best ones last season, the fourth season, that uh, I had the best luck with. But this season, it seems like the best ones were his, the best the lure that, from him that I used was Flat 365. I love that lure. It's a food lure. And it's a muskrat meat-based bait, I mean lure. So I thought, I'll, I'll try it. I tried some muskrat stuff before and it never produced. But this stuff, coyotes loved it. They were digging for it. They were gnawing on it. They were eating the wool it was on, I think. They were, I had tons of reaction to it. It seemed like just about every set I put out, I was connecting. So I really liked it. Um, so that was definitely my best producing one from him. Washed the River Valley Trading Post. Their best producing one, again, was... Uh, Buffalo oil. That stuff is great. Just put it down a dirt hole in connection with the beaver based bait. Put it on a bit of sheep's wool at a flat set or a Q tip set. That stuff is hot. I love that. That lure. That is, you need to try that out. And it's good for anything caught coyotes, bobcats, fox, coon, skunk, everything on it. I really liked it. Um, Predator Potions bait and lure. We, this is the first year we tried it, and I fell in love with his Predator Bait number one. That stuff is great. It's a beaver-based bait, fresh, kind of a sweet smell almost to it. Coyotes loved it. That was one of the best producing baits this season. Um, let's see. Young's Bait and Lure Company, they're Ambush. Again, that was my best producing one from them this year. It's also a fresh beaver-based bait. Everything seems to love it, dig for it, eat it. I really like that bait. And his K1 Plus lure had a lot of luck on it as well. Um, let's see, who else? Pretty bad, bad when you can't remember all your sponsors off the top of your head. Uh, let's see, Predator Potion, I mean Predator Perfect, excuse me. Again, Texas Twister, that was my best producing one from him this year. It's a fresh Bobcat based bait. And uh, 
that, I ended up that kind of that took to drag about 300 yards. That was one that I caught on it. And uh, yeah, that was my best, definitely my best producing one from him this year. Blake needs strapping supplies. Um, we mainly got equipment from him, but I also got some of his uh, Predator 360 lure and uh, some of his coon attractants. They they produced pretty well for me as well. I ended up, I think, with two coyotes on this Predator 360. And I, I put it in very few sets, so um, I was impressed for no more than I used it how much I caught on it. So let's see, Southern Standards and Supply, of course, their uh, Missouri Legal Table Restraints got that hog. And the coyote held them both without a problem. The whole rig held up great, so I was pretty impressed with that. Um, the hair straps, like I said, didn't wasn't able to catch a lot in them, but what I did catch held them great. The traps were not mangled at all, and there was no damage on any of my catches in the hair straps. So the only thing I didn't like is there is a slight wobble in the pan, so I'm going to have to figure out how to adjust that. I know Seldom Fails YouTube channel uh, did a video on how to fix that, so I'm going to have to check into that as well. So, let's jump into the montage, guys. I'm sorry for talking your ear off. Uh, what did you think of this season, this the 2021-2022 trapping season for us? We end up with 23 coyotes, 7 bobcats, 2 gray fox, 1 badger, and I don't know how many coons and skunks. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Enjoy the montage. Leave a comment in, in the comment section down below. Go win our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We are only 70 subscribers away from 1,000. So as soon as we reach 1,000, we're going to draw a winner for a lot of good traffic supplies. So anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. God bless. And thank you.